This is the Monocast, all about open source marketing automation with Montic. And here is your host, Hecky Gamble. Hello again to a really crazy episode yeah. of the Monocast. Well, not, not that I am crazy or you, Leon. Hello. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit. <laughs> yeah, not more than, than the other days. But, <laughs> no, but, but the topic of the day is... Crazy. Yeah. yeah. F- let's say fancy. Or, or, ah. yeah. it's, it's, good, it's just good stuff. It's, it's one of those things that you can do with, with Mordic, but it's not exactly what Mordic, Mordic is meant to be. It, it's just inspiring people <laughs> to do creative things. And, and in this case, Adrian, our good friend from Switzerland, yeah. is the one who did this crazy things, who had the crazy idea and actually made it happen. So yeah, look forward to that. For now, let's let's start by talking Mordic. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's It's been a while since yeah. we did a lo- last episode. We have uh, Mordic 4.2 two we have Mordic four point two point one. Um obviously with four point two we had some some major news the marketplace yep. that was um presented at Morticon in in Brussels. Yeah in Hassel uh, yeah. no in Hassel. Hassel. Yeah, Hassel in Belgium anyway. Um and maybe one day we will have Dennis here on the podcast. I hope so <laughs> to to show it to to us uh, especially when it's a little more filled than it is today. Uh, the the other thing that came with the marketplace was a dependency mm-hmm. to Composer install. Composer install was something that had been possible before, yeah. but if you want to use the marketplace, you really have to enable it mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Uh, install that way. Yeah. And there's also a nice blog post that ins- explains what it means, um, what the implications are, yeah. um, and it will tell you whether or not it, it is really painful, hurting, etc. Yeah, well, Spoiler, be. it's not. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but talking about a good blog post, there's also the, the Mordic roadmap has been around for a couple, yeah, decades now i feel like <laughs> <laughs> and um, for the 4.3 release um there will be a yeah the major topic will be channels if i'm remembering correctly yeah in fact uh with a new version of the roadmap mm-hmm. uh the, the this idea to have certain focus topics for each minor release yeah. that was introduced with Mordic 4, I guess. Mm-hmm. So in 4.2, we had campaign as a focus thing. Yeah. 4.3 will be all about channels. And channels is like like emails, SMS, uh, um, focus, focus items, items maybe even postcards. <laughs> postcards, yes, postcards, good one. But may- maybe other things as well, web hooks, you name it. Uh, yeah, and yeah, no, I can't wait to see what's coming in 4.3. But this... this uh, Roadmap blog post that goes way beyond that. It is covering 22 and 23. Mm-hmm. And if you're interested in what's coming down the road, then you should look this up. Yeah, talking about looking up, there's also been a blog post about the email and landing page builder covering like the next steps and where we should focus on. And um, yeah, it's important that you out there, dear listener, go there. The link is in the show notes and add your comment and read it and what you think should be added and what's important because currently it's in the discussion about what we should focus on, I think. Yeah, it's of course a small team that is uh, maintaining and, and enhancing the, the uh, builder and, and uh, Adrian, our interview <laughs> guy of the week, is, uh, is one of the team. And we're going to mention that in the interview. Mm-hmm. But uh, for everybody else, um, you can see the topics that they have in mind and the priorities that they see. Yeah. And uh, they absolutely want your feedback on, on those takes. Yeah. Yeah. Great. By the way, one, one of my favorite things is uh, to enable custom code, like like plugins in, uh, in, the, in the builder. Yeah. I think it's it's tremendously valuable, but also important. And, and in our own projects, we rely on it yeah, uh, we do. <laughs> more and more. Although uh, Mordic is not really ready <laughs> for it, so it's it's pretty painful. Yeah, <laughs> and would would uh, leverage the power to to really enable plugins to the to the builder, basically. Yeah, um, let's go to more 
technical things. One is uh, a nice how-to for marketeers on building uh, birthday email campaigns. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's it's not a new idea. It's it's pretty Been around. <laughs> uh, frequently mentioned, but but now we have a a proper description on how to do it with an up-to-date modic mm -hmm. by our friends at Drop Solid. So uh, link is in the show notes, like everything else, and um, yeah, go ahead and 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 make your customers happy. Yeah. There's also been a new PR, um, which was in the forums about restricting the export through roles, because currently it is not possible to give users special access or restrict them from exporting your entire contact database. So everybody with the administrative um, yeah, user role can do that. And there's been a PR to, to restrict that. Yeah, I mean, admins will still be able to do it. Yeah, yeah. But if, but if you're you if, if you have a user with a role to to read the contacts, then he or she mm -hmm. will be able to export, export them. The, yeah. all the those millions of users. And if you care about GDPR or other uh, security and privacy concerns, yeah. then uh, could be here's, an issue. Here's a PR mm -hmm. uh, that is uh, basically an installable patch. Yeah. Uh, which is uh, hopefully going to be mainstream core product feature. Hope so. Very soon. Yeah, go and add, go go and check it out. Uh, an easy one is uh, a new version of uh, the backup plugin by our friends at Got It. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so they have this thing that that provides a backup feature through the Mordic UI, yeah. and they are now on Mordic Four, and uh, the latest and greatest is on nice. the website. Yeah. Yeah, there's also been um, yeah kind of important news for people who use Gmail as their mail hub, because starting at the 30th of May, um, you cannot send mail through the Gmail hub using Mordic anymore, because the authentication using a user and password won't be available anymore. Yeah, that's a general change in, in Gmail policy. Yeah. It is going to affect many use cases for Gmail and it certainly is going to affect Mordic uh, to use Gmail as no. the email service provider. If you are using that, maybe there will be a feature that brings OAuth 2 or something of that, like that to the Mordic plugin, but I'm not aware of that. No, um, and so <laughs> neither. <laughs> might well be that that end of May your uh, email connection is certainly bro uh, is suddenly broken. So you better check it out early up. Yeah. Good. Um, let's get to the fun stuff. Uh, here's Adrian. And there we go. Hello, Adrian. Long time no see. How are you doing today? <laughs> Hello, Kim. Great to be here again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you have been uh, on the on the show when we talked about. Oh my God, what did we talk about? I think it was the email builder. Of course, it was. Yeah, <laughs> it was a <laughs> trick question. Of course, you you are Mister uh, Mister Great JS, basically the one who pushed the email builder towards uh, yeah be, being part of Mordic Four and then finally taking Mordic to a new level when it comes to email building. But today, uh, we want to talk about something different. I, I assume you are still based in Switzerland and you're still with your company doing Mordic things. Is that about right? Yes, that's true. We're still doing Mordic hosting and plugins. Yeah. Um, and but I'm not really. I mean, I'm currently in Switzerland, but we're actually location independent. So sometimes I'm here and sometimes I'm somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, and are there any other well-known names in your company? You mean like employees, like um, in the community that are known in the community? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have uh, we actually we have a new employee. Her name is Volha, oh. and she is contributing more and more now to the community. Yeah, cool. I don't know. Maybe you saw some stuff from her already, but yeah. we're happy that she is contributing pull requests. And also on the Fridays, we do the do the testing where she's heavily involved. Yeah, and the open source the pull Friday, request yeah. testing. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Um, so, what what is it that we want to talk about today? Well, yeah, there's uh, something that's been 
that I wanted to talk about, or that I think people should know about more in the Mautic community, it's the, the Trello plugin. Okay, that's one thing that you developed, and uh, I would assume that 90% of people people have heard about Trello before, but let's start with the other 10% and let's talk about what is Trello in the first place, and then let's talk about why would you want to connect that to Mordek, please. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, I mean, we use Trello for a long time now for our task of pro project management. So basically, it's a very simple Kanban system where you have different lanes and you can say, okay, this is my backlog, this is my to-do list. Mm -hmm. And then you can share it with your team and you can you can move the tasks from one lane to the other or from one status to the next. Mm -hmm. So you have an overview of what who is working on what. Mm -hmm. So it's an online board system, which has a free tier that many people use, right? And uh, yeah. also paid tiers, I guess, that you're on. Okay, but what what in the world does that have to do with Mordic? Yeah, it all started with um, when when I was when I started with Mordic, I was missing like um, a sales pipeline. So basically, a way to visualize the, um, where my, the stages of my leads, mm -hmm. which is usually done in a, in a Kanban like layout. So you have like One column is all the cold leads, another column is all the hot leads, etc. However, you want to build that. Mm. And yeah, and so I realized that uh, Trello is made for that. And so we, um, or so I, I thought, like, why don't we combine these two tools? And there was also some some customer of us who had this, this wish that he wanted to, like, work more with the, with the, with the tasks, like, that they can create to dos out of tasks. So that, um, yeah, when he has like a follow up with a, with a customer or somebody, that he can get to, that he can have have like a, a deadline or a due date, like in a month or so, he wants to talk to that customer again. Mm. So, so that's this this basic idea that I find find most fascinating, but but also a little bit funny. Like, so you're, you're basically using Trello as a sales tool not a crm system but like a sales or sales automation tool or something like that so the fair description so you're only pushing the hot leads to trello to start with is that right yeah i'm i mean i'm pushing the i mean it's all a manual process mm -hmm. so basically i'm i'm choosing which contact i want to push to trello There's oh. like a button on the Mautic contact page. Oh. So it's actually more of a, um, yeah. So if I had like a talk with somebody and I say, okay, I want to talk to this person again in like a month or something. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm entering the, 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 the talk details or the meeting details at, in, at the, in the contact history. Mm -hmm. And then I'm actually pr saying, okay, create a card for, in Trello for this contact. Mm -hmm. So, so even Mordic is part of the quote-unquote CRM system, and uh, for for this um, yeah, task planning and and visualization, that's what Trello is good for. And why why don't you automate that part? Did did it not uh, occur to you, or did, did, doesn't it seem to make sense to you? Like I would expect, like there's a uh, maybe a a score-based action or a campaign action that, that pushes a certain lead to, to Trello. Is it not, not, does it not make sense? I, th I think it would make sense, yes. I'm like, um, the, this whole thing started as like um, a beta version for me. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I just wanted to make like a basic connection so that we have like um, a basic integration from Mordic to Trello. Mm -hmm. And Then I want to have users start using it, so that we that we actually can talk about it and have a discussion of what should be the next feature. Oh, very cool. Okay. Yeah, um, so that's that was the basic idea. Yeah. Um, the the uh, first time I, I discovered discovered this thing was really a post on LinkedIn that that uh, that that points to your website, I guess. Uh, And that is like like a sales description of this thing. So, is 
this some 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 plugin or so that you sell or is it uh, on github um currently i mean there are like two plugins mm -hmm. so there is there's the one from Audic, which is uh, both of them are actually free to use right now mm -hmm. so the modic one is on github and you can just look for trello modic i guess you will find it yeah and or we can put it in the show notes i guess and there is the, and the other one is uh, directly included in the Trello marketplace. Oh, okay, cool. So, so it's a it's a called Power Up or at Trello. Mm -hmm. And if you look for Modic or Ivy, you will you will I'm sure you will find it. Yeah. So um, I, I'll definitely put both in the show notes, and I, I also put the the description. Um, uh, on your website to the show notes is there any other resource uh, that you would point people to like like i don't know video or something or maybe something in english um there is the, um, i think we translated the website already oh of course, i think yeah. if connect more to Costello. there it is sorry yeah i'm looking at it right now mm -hmm. okay perfect yeah. and i think there's also a small a short video if i'm not wrong uh Video, oh, there it is. Video unshown, watch video. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we have a ton of good resources. Um, any details you want to talk about? Anything that you specifically love or, or find find very powerful to use? Yeah, we talked now mostly about the, the modic part, mm -hmm. but then there's also the trailer part, which I think is very interesting because when, when you attach a modic URL, to um to trello mm -hmm. to the trello attachment it will recognize that and it will start pulling in the information so you will Ooh. see like the tags and the points and the last time this person was active mm -hmm. and this can be quite interesting to know right so when you're when you're working with your contact and then you see ah that's this person so it's fetching that and, uh, in real time through api or yeah, obviously. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Normally, it's the other way around. Uh, in, in a CRM integration, uh, there is this option to push um, not only the contact but also the contact history to CRM. But that's also on a on a like like cron based basis, time basis. Um, mm -hmm. Huh. Well, that's that's attractive. I would love to to see that in 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 a, in an actual crm system but uh, it needs its sort of extensibility of course that we have with, with trello cool good stuff what else well um i'm both of them are quite uh basic versions like they're, they're they work they're they're, they're there they, they, you can use them mm -hmm. but i would really like to talk to users and people about it and see what the next feature can be Mm -hmm. So I would really uh, encourage everybody to yeah to write me about it if you're using it, and then maybe we can together we can we can define the next or well, the roadmap for it, and uh, let's see what what's next. And it's already right now it's really cool. We have like um, we have users from all over the world, uh, the farthest from Mexico. Mm -hmm. and it's really I think it's really nice to see that if you uh, it was a stupid idea of mine yeah, that I died on a mm -hmm. Sunday morning and I just wanted to build something yeah. and connect these two tools and now people start using it you see the graphs going up uh -huh. of, of the boards that are connected and this is like a really cool thing and I hope it continues absolutely I love my, my, uh, Sunday mornings with those ideas <laughs> it's, it's good <laughs> yeah uh, so what's the best way for people to get in touch with you um you can you can find me in the Slack or on LinkedIn. I guess that's the easiest. Mm -hmm. Or just if you're on the website, you can just use the contact form. That's also easy. Yeah, of course. Okay. I'll put everything in the show notes like always. And um, I'm, I'm very, very impressed. It's a, I can't wait to try this myself, really. Very good. Yeah. Anything anything else going on in the Mordic world from you? I mean, as I said, you are basically Mr. Grapes Jazz. Is there anything moving fast at this point in the builder space or are, are there any other places where you are active? Yeah, I'm mostly I'm I'm trying to focus on the builder. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's so many things you could do, but I always 
try to restrict myself also a little bit. Yeah. Um, so I'm really trying to yeah, improve the builder. I mean, we did a, with version four, we did a good first step. Yeah. It, but it was a first step. There's still stuff that needs to be done. Yeah. Also some bugs that we need to fix. And I'm, yeah, I'm dedicating my time mostly to that to make the builder like fully stable and feature complete. Perfect. Focus is a good thing. Um, and I, I asked you earlier whether you want, would come to the sprint in Budapest in early May. And you said you, you wouldn't make it in person, but maybe join remotely. Um, so that's too bad. I can't wait to, to meet once again and, uh, I don't know, drink and discuss and I don't know, all that it is possible on premise. So, so I sure hope we, we're going to do that. Uh, If not now, then, then later, maybe in Switzerland. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. I mean, now that, that uh, the borders are more open again, I'm sure we can meet at some point. It would be really great to finally meet in person. Yeah, very cool. Good. Okay, Adrian, thanks for your time. Uh, thanks for your dedication to, to the Mordic course and all the great stuff that's coming from your direction. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Cheers. Yeah, that's some crazy, crazy stuff connecting Mordic and Trello to yeah, build a Kanban board in Trello using Mordic information. That's a crazy idea. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, uh, I would like to add up or uh, add a little bit to the uh, Budapest sprint yeah. thing. That's uh, about that was, the, around the corner already. It is, it is. Uh, so we're recording this in on April 20th, by the way. Um, the sprint is will start May 2nd, mm -hmm. so we are probably arriving May 1st, at least yeah. you are and I are, uh, I am, <laughs> I are. We both are. <laughs> um, and many others as well. So it's going to be three full days in Budapest, mm -hmm. and it's uh, really all teams sprinting there. Yeah. It's it's development and product team, it, but it's also marketing team. It is uh, the community and the education team. And uh, just like we did in, in Belgium last time, We want to go full steam for three days. Yep. We will have some remote particip <laughs> participation. <laughs> um, but of course, being there is a completely different animal. And if you can make it and be it only for a day or two, by all means, come and join us. Yeah, if you want surely. to sneak in or just want to see how things work how nice or not nice people are <laughs> which team might be best for you you're very very welcome to come and uh, say hello and uh, yeah do pick pick your spot basically yeah. um among the people that are coming to the sprint are also our friends from nigeria oh, that's uh, yeah. toby but also favor mm -hmm. and um if you haven't heard about favor calvin she's a team lead for the education team yeah and doing a great job <laughs> yeah and um there's a community spotlight article that's a blog post series on, on community members yeah. this one is pretty new on favor um, and we'll link it on the show notes as well yeah nice. and you can check that out and meet her in budapest yeah <laughs> just like many other people <laughs> as well yeah talking about events there have been the, the death days if i remember correctly Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's in. It's. I think it's in conjunction with the Drupal Dev Days. It's yeah, if I'm I think not mistaken. A... The other thing that took place was a little tiny German sprint, sprint in the yeah. German-speaking area. Yeah, it was meant to be an on-premise sprint with Ruth being mm -hmm. being there, due to a little tiny animal <laughs> <laughs> starting with a C starting with a C and spreading virally yeah uh, yeah that was uh, not not uh, possible exactly, sadly yeah. but we did a remote sprint with Ruth and with people from the, from Switzerland and uh, Austria as well I think Austria as well and Germany as well yeah. and picked some topics and worked on that those topics for a day nice and nice. that was really fun because it was the first German sprint Uh, in fact, yeah. Yeah, super cool. Yeah. And then, as we said, it's uh, early April. Uh, it's 20th of April. Uh, Budapest Sprint coming up. And uh, then we're already facing... The Mordicon. The Mordicon. Conference, the, of course. Yeah, <laughs> the Mordicon Conference online in, in June. 
Yeah. Um, the program is now public, I think. No. Yeah. It's a uh, two days packed of good stuff uh, for everybody in different languages. Yeah. Most of it is in English, of course, and but we also have international tracks as before. We have uh, a lot of topics on using Mordix, uh, Mordic and on marketing <laughs> things, but of course also for developers, for infrastructure people and yeah. everything. Nice and variety, even, yeah. Yeah, and even, even about uh, learning Mordic or, or training Mordic. Yeah, I heard. I heard there might be a talk about <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Um, Get your ticket now. Uh, it's it's dirt cheap, like it always is for the the online conference. Yeah. Uh, you can also be a sponsor of the event. That's very welcome. And if you have a couple of hours left, you can also help the team out. For instance, by running a track or things like that. Moderating. Yeah. Very very happy that we have such a great team this time. Many yeah. many people helping. Many people. Yeah. <laughs> helping. And um, uh, yeah, thanks to to all of you. Yeah, but. We got to say that the uh, on-premise event, the next Mordic conference, which would, which would be in person, is also on that, not that far away. I think it's in, in November. And we are currently looking for a location. Yeah. Um, you may remember, <laughs> like, like three minutes ago, we <laughs> talked about uh, Belgium. Yeah, uh, I kind of do. <laughs> for, for the, the last uh, in-person event. Mm. Uh, the next one is supposed not to be in Europe so we are moving to a different continent every Ooh, year nice so it might be North America or South America it might be Middle East or Asia yeah. or Africa maybe we could go to Australia I don't mind um, <laughs> so we have a blog post which is basically calling for uh, suggestions mm -hmm. and let's see a suggest uh, and of course I would love to go to Australia, but yeah, I, I could suggest so. <laughs> that. But um, it, it makes a lot of sense to have people uh, on the ground there. So if you want to suggest your own hometown or something close to that, uh, that is probably the best option. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're, we're very much looking forward to cool locations. Uh, I remember th somebody mentioned Cape Town already. Oh, I'd be in. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. Um, but we, we definitely want more and um, more creative suggestions. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a world capital. We, we, we are very, very flexible as long <laughs> as we have a nice spot for the community yeah. to be there and get together and be cozy. That's good. Yeah. Um, anything else for today? Uh, not from my side. Do you have anything left? No, I don't think so. Except, uh, I guess we, once again, we promised to <laughs> uh, go to be back uh, much sooner than last time. Yeah. Um, so do look forward to the next episode. Maybe we can do recording at the sprint. Yeah, we can try. Um, and until then, um, thanks for listening. We're looking forward and um, take care. Take care. Give bye us bye. your feedback. Um, Send us postcards, send us <laughs> chocolate, or whatever. Chocolate, <laughs> please. <laughs> okay. Talk to you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye.